हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू वन मोर वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज रिगार्डिंग द एक्सपांशन एंड कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ डिमांड वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड सो योर कॉन्सेप्ट विल गेट क्लियर एंड यू विल गेट मोर मार्क्स इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो लेट अस स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो वेन अदर डिटर्मिनेंट्स आर एज्यूम टू रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट एंड प्राइज इज वेरिड और चेंजेस देन इट इज एक्सपांशन एंड कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ डिमांड मेन थिंग यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट द प्राइस चेंजेस आइदर इट इंक्रीजेस और डिक्रीजेस नेक्स्ट पॉइंट वेन प्राइस फॉल्स कीपिंग अदर डिटर्मिनेंट्स कॉन्स्टेंट देर इज एन एक्सपांशन इन डिमांड नाउ इफ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड ओनली दीज टू लाइन्स यू कैन डेफिनेटली अंडरस्टैंड एग्जैक्टली ऑपोजिट इज द कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ डिमांड सो वेन प्राइस राइजिज कीपिंग अदर डिटर्मिनेंट कॉन्स्टेंट there is a contraction of demand next topic is schedule of expansion and contraction i have taken an hypothetical schedule you can take any schedule what is the schedule as the price 531 and the demand is 135 you can take any number 50 30 10 100 200 300 doesn't make any difference but whatever you take you have to write in the diagram so do not go for cramming this any number you can take let us see demand in detail expansion and contraction of demand curve now i am drawing one line over here that will be y axis whereas price will be denoted in rupees now another axis i am drawing over here which will be x axis and what will be recorded is demand in rupees and both will the origin will be o now this what i term this as outer layer now once this is the outer layer is finished you have to write down something relating to outer layer for your explanation which can be as possible the above diagram shows price of the commodity on y axis and demand of the commodity on x axis now the outer layer has been completed now there will be one more line this will be for downward flowing from towards x axis or from left to right now this is known as demand curve now if you have understood this next thing is as this line is added you will add something or you will write about something this line that is dd is the demand curve i have it very short but you can write down it is d is the demand curve falling towards x axis from left to right now these two lines of a different color what will will represent equilibrium point where the price is 3 and the demand is 3 and then you have to name that and given equilibrium point e if you understood all this let us write down something relating to this at point e initial price is rupees 3 then the initial demand is 3 unit now as these things are clear something more i will draw what shall i draw that is when the price increase from 3 to 5 demand will increase from 3 to 1 then there will be more equilibrium point e1 and take f x whatever you want to take now this you have to write down in your answer which is known as contraction of demand this i am going to write down now from the initial point e if the price rises from rupees 3 to 5 demand contracts from 3 units to 1 unit it is shown at point e1 movement from point e to point e1 on demand curve dd is called contraction of demand because the demand has reduced in the quantity due to price increase exactly opposite now the equilibrium point the price will be from reduced from 3 to 1 demand will increase from 3 to 5 the new equilibrium point will be e2 now i am going to write down the same thing of what i did i am going to write for e2 but it will be relating to expansion of demand when price falls from 3 to rupees 1 demand contracts from 3 to 5 which is shown at point e2 the movement from point e to e on the demand curve is called expansion of demand now summarize let me summarize the entire diagram for you how it will work first thing is you see when the price increase from 3 to 5 the demand decrease from 3 to 1 this topic or this movement is known as contraction of demand let me do the revision for the expansion of demand and the price decrease from 3 to 1 so the unit will increase from 3 to 5 this movement is known as expansion of demand Thank you for watching this video. I'll upload video on every Sunday. So please subscribe to my channel Prano Classes. Please share this video so that brother sister friend gets more mark. If you have any doubt leave a comment and don't forget to like. Please watch next part of this video also. Thank you. All the best for your exams.